Hey guys, so before we start the video, I have put a freelance services link that I provide in the description of this video and you can basically go and check them out. So let's start. Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you a good gig to basically provide on Fiverr, which is fairly easy to provide in my experience, but the digital marketing is something that you may have heard a lot on YouTube. Now, as you can see, there are only 4,000 services available. It's not that much. You can easily compete in this. Now, here's something that I recommend you guys. When you go with digital marketing, always remember that because there is a lot of information already out on YouTube for free, people expect you to do, you know, a really good work because there are many things that people can already learn now some in some cases the clients don't know and they are just asking for simple stuff but they expect you to show results at least in my experience and whenever i hire someone i need to see something that i couldn't have done and they have done it for me because uh, yeah because it's it's a pretty you know it's a very common niche there are many youtube channels which teach this skill so let's just talk about digital marketing how you can start now before we start my recommendation is go with a professional certificate if you don't have one because it will help you so google have a digital marketing course right so digital marketing course. google google have an official course of digital marketing let's just see yeah courseware yeah. google course right so there are courseware yeah, provide a lot of courses for by google it is official google by the way google will give you a certificate and everything now here is something that i want you guys to know don't think just because you have a certificate or anything just uh, you are immediately going to learn it all because i know digital marketing i have done it for clients and i have done it for my brand too my recommendation is always go with experience and uh, for experience there is this thing called let me show you portfolio all right portfolio you need a portfolio guys this is like must so let's see for example right so if i basically tell someone i'm going to do keyword research as you guys know this is one of my field of expertise so for keyword research if i have a website and they see generic content on my website they will see that whatever i am claiming my website doesn't show the same so i always try to write something that people are gonna have you know some value from and more importantly they will see that this is not something that you this information they will find it anywhere else so this is what keyword research is i'm not gonna go to too deep into that topic because it will be a very long you know long one now before that we are gonna go with this so before that we are gonna discuss about digital marketing and maybe i will discuss keyword research in future so all right for digital marketing there are many different ones so let's just go with this one this person is charging 200 dollars this person is charging 50 let's just check both of them now with a certification course if you guys have some extra cash laying around just go ahead and get enrolled in it it will help you for to get jobs in some good brands too but uh, always always there is a portfolio thing and i will tell you how to make a portfolio in this video itself just uh, before that we will just check out what people are providing what kind of stuff they are giving all right so what what's included for 200 dollars let's see three platform page channel evolution content creation schedule post engagement to follow reporting action plan all right so this is basically you know you can go with as you can see seven year experience i've worked under us community remote for six years so this person is basically showing you what kind of stuff this person has done in the past this is what portfolio looks like right you you need a portfolio to make a good impression on your clients so for portfolio my recommendation is always have a good social media this is like must for digital marketing because if you are claiming that you are an expert in digital marketing your social media has to be impressive at least at least you need some good amount of engagement on your post and good amount of followers and i will show you how to create a good social media but before that i need to boost up my own social media that's the, because i don't want you guys to just tell you guys something that i don't do i, I want you so for this and you can always go for one more thing that is called a website always have a website portfolio website whatever website you want to create i have already shown you how to create websites on google sites and stuff if you don't know just comment below i will show you and 
always have a blog i have a blog i have a website too as okay so let me show you one of my websites all right so if somebody want a website like this you can always comment below i will create it for you and uh, all right, let me show you this whole website is created by me and uh, all right it's loading all right so this is one of my websites right so this is loading hold on all right so this particular website is all created by me all right so what i can do is i can always just tell people like this is the website that i have created and you can check it out if you like the website if you like the design if you like the quality of content i can create it for you so this is what portfolio is one more website that i have is this one all right so it's loading all i'm basically what i'm telling you guys to do is have something in your portfolio so people can see and they can see what kind of work you have done all right so that will help you to create a rapport with them so this is one of one more website and this website is by the way this website is already approved by ezoic so you can always just tell them so if you guys don't know what ezoic is ezoic is a mcn uh, more like a, a, a adx network it is many people use it uh, when uh, they have a website which uh, they don't want to submit to, to you know or many web this is always a good idea to have your website approved on different kinds of networks because let's say if you have ad network issues and stuff you can always use other ad networks so this is approved by ezoic all right so as you can see there are ads and everything running and it's pretty good so ezoic is pretty good uh, i will show you guys a tutorial in the future how to get approved on ezoic fairly quickly and easily so yeah that's all there is to it in uh, this website i don't think so that uh, there is else so let's just see all right so there are different kinds of ads running here all right so this is all there is to it for ezoic and uh, or creating website always have a portfolio guys don't forget have a portfolio portfolio will help you as to as you as i told you right seo smo so this is social media management smm content writing services all these things are fairly easy to do like many people charge money for this and stuff my recommendation is you can easily learn these things if you don't have time then only hire someone for digital marketing but if you want to provide digital marketing services always go above and beyond as i said when somebody look at this website i don't know what impression they may or may not get but i can always tell that they will not see a sloppy website all right this this is pretty good and ezoic approved this website so i hope they saw something in this because they don't go around approving websites that much at least not in my experience so that's all there is to it and uh, i will tell you guys how to get ezoic approval in the future and uh, that's all there is to it so thank you thanks for watching